Welcome to an episode of Milk Tips with Michael. There's babies in the house, so I'm not going to be as loud as usual. People come up to me and they say, Michael, how do you find this many different people who like to drink milk? And it's it's a right place, right time, time sort of thing. So I've got Andrew, my buddy Andrew here, and uh, my buddy Grant. And we're going to be drinking some milk. Um, this is this is this is something that blew me away the other day. I'm in sheets looking at the milk, and I'm buying Gallagher's, and I notice some of these jugs say Potomac Farms on them, and some of them don't. And so I read through the label. It's all the exact same ingredients. And so, why do some say Potomac Farms? Do you guys have any ideas on why this would be the case? That's why I'm here. I purposely brought a cat with me to help divine this, because cats like milk, supposedly. And he has been zero help, so I'm about to get rid of him. <laughs> there goes the cat. <laughs> yeah, I, the only thing I can think of is when a cow is in a field, it's going to eat the grass and stuff. And so maybe the grass at that location, Potomac Farms, would make the milk taste different. We're gonna find out. Or maybe there's something magical they're eating there that we just don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's a four-leaf clover, who knows? Yeah. It could be anything. But I'm just, I'm dying to know. I also, I heard that, do you wanna pour your own shirt? That's of course. I heard that uh, Potomac Farms was gonna shut down too. Isn't that sad? And so, but when I heard that, I actually heard that today, I was like, I gotta get the sheets tonight because, you know, you, you never know when your last opportunity is gonna be. Yeah, that is wild. Why are they shutting down? I didn't get the, I didn't get the whole story on that one, man. Man, the expense of feeding magical cow food. It's a hard economy. <laughs> All right, so. So this is the non Potomac. This is the not Potomac. Uh -huh. And then, Grant, don't get yours flipped around there. I got the Potomac and the non Potomac. Okay, grab your non Potomacs. I think it's a little bit uh, yeah. delightful. Regular Gallagher's. Mm. Yeah. Alright. With your other hand. <coughs> Grab the Potomac. <laughs> All right, see if it's different. Okay, funnily enough, I feel like there could be a difference, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I don't know that I can put a whole lot of words to the difference, but I like the Potomac Farms one better. Do you guys have an opinion? It was some good milk. <laughs> Grant's still drinking. <laughs> All right. He's savoring the flavor. Yeah. I actually called Grant in special for this episode. Because I thought, you know, that's the kind of guy who knows how to taste milk. <laughs> it really does take a special person. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I do notice a difference. It's just... It, it is a spot. very slight difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so I don't know how to pick... I don't know how to pick what's better. It's like, they're both really good. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like what I was talking about earlier. It's like 24 karat gold and 20 karat gold. It's hard sometimes to notice the difference. Yeah, right. Even though it exists. Do, do you have a favorite? They're both refreshing. Yeah. Um, I can't say I do. There you have it. That's my, the answer. And my personal favorite is the Gallagher's chocolate. This, honestly, I mean, I'm going to have to get a rubric out or something. 
this, it's, it's the best. And like, you've seen me drink food wine chocolate milk before. I usually split that with white, you know, because it's so overpowering. This is like, you don't gotta do anything to it. It's exactly the perfect consistency for, you know, extreme casual chocolate milk drinking. And I know that wasn't really the theme of the episode, but I felt it should be in the episode because I was the only one that cheats buying two and a half gallons of milk tonight. I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey guys, this is crazy. We're back with just a little bit more information about this milk thing. We poured out some more because we think we have it figured out. Get me a good close look up. Good zoom in. All right, do you guys see? You see the difference? <laughs> corporate, <laughs> corporate has asked us to find the difference between these two glasses. <laughs> okay, all right, so maybe you can't see it, but we're gonna taste it and I think that we've got it. So I'm gonna start with the regular and then the Potomac. This will confirm it. Mm. Okay, so I do feel like I'm getting more flavor out of this one. Tell me the what Potomac you guys are thinking. One? The Potomac. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I, I... So it took me three times of trying the same two milks following up, but I agree 100% that Potomac, it just has a slightly better flavor to it. It's almost like a more full... Uh, milk flavor. Milk flavor. It's, it's hot. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would agree, Grant? I do. Yeah. And, you know, one thing we were thinking about, you know, I mentioned grass. You know, maybe the grass would affect the taste. Mm. But what about the cow? Mm. You know, not every cow is the same breed. I mean, I imagine it's like dogs. You got big ones, little ones, you know, poodly looking ones. <laughs> So the cow and the grass, who you knows the water, maybe something's in the water, you know what they say. Um, or it could be a farm owned by leprechauns and they have magical four-leaf clovers. It could be that. It could be that. Or maybe, you know, maybe their process is a little bit different. Maybe their milk mixing machine has got a little more miles on it, mm. a little more seasons, a little bit more broken in. Mm -hmm. But here's what I'm going to say. You heard it first on Milk Tips with Michael. If you're in the store and you see Gallagher's or Gallagher's Potomac Mills, I say go for the Potomac Mills. While you can. Is it Potomac Farms? Potomac Farms. <laughs> Got your back. No, I was thinking of the, what is it, the, who was Potomac Mills? The, is that something different? Is that is a, a snack or something? Or... Cookie? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think of Pepperidge Farms. <laughs> <laughs> There's Pepperidge a Pepperidge person Pepperidge back there. <laughs> it could be a professional photo service. That's not what I'm getting at. <laughs> if you see Potomac Farms, buy it. That's that's what I'm saying. And that nobody's paying me to say that. This is just my that's honest what opinion. We determined. And yeah. I concur strongly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good to have you guys on this journey uh, during these uncertain times. I feel we've grown. Mm -hmm. I feel like a better man. <laughs> <laughs>